and here at the Petroleum Club this evening at the Women's Networking Group at EDIPEC 2017. Absolutely thrilled to have Sheikha Mascari with us. She of course is the head of Mascari Holdings and it's just as always an absolute delight, an honour and a real thrill to have you here. When you look at these young women and you look at the opportunities they have and an evening like this, the networking that can go on, tell me, tell me what's your words of advice for them? Um, what I advise is all young women, and actually they're doing it, uh, we have to realize that in the quarter, the 75% of the graduates of the United Arab Emirates are women. And recently, the paradigm has changed. The women are taking more aggressive jobs, like that were before male-dominated, like engineering, construction engineering, petroleum engineering, reservoir engineering, even drilling engineering. Even Saudi women, I met many Saudi women in reservoir engineering, and uh, they work in the fields. And we have women in aeronautics engineering, we have women in uh, aerospace. My niece is head of aerospace engineering. So these, in, instead of being separate nucleus, we are all a community in a, s a small society here. Networking between professionals is very good. First, they get to know each other. There is a sisterhood. They share the challenges. What are the administrative and management training and physical challenges? Because women have their own biological challenges of working in a male-dominated environment, like in the fields. My own family, you know, we have Shamsal Maskari, we have Thurayel Maskari. We have, in my family, most of the girls are actually graduates in petroleum engineering and, and also geophysicists. And uh, it's now it's just, when they're out there in college, it's good to know they more networking. Today it's so easy to have a club. To have a club in the media, social media, women in energy, to, uh, to invite papers and proposals of women in energy, any kind of proposal they have, and to have a, an annual or periodical competition which people won, and to get them together. That's my advice. I am very inspired here today. I feel the women in energy power because there is a variety of energy. We have those in gas, upstream, downstream, refining, so to get them all together, different Particularly now, we have a restructuring of ADNOC. Restructuring, we are all one, ADNOC. We are all ADNOC. These ideas before we were divisive, ADCO, ADMA, ZADCO, ADGAS, we are all ADNOC. It's, it's a great advantage of unison, a, co a cohesive organization. Psychologically, just to say, I'm, I'm ADNOC onshore. I'm ADNOC offshore. It gives you that idea, psychologically, that we are one, there is a stream of communication. And this is a great advantage, besides cost-cutting, is uh, knowledge share sharing and management uh, skills. And uh, we should do more of this, more, not just once a year at ADIPEC. Now tell me, so you would then be a great proponent and a great supporter of Dr. Sultan for making this big move. And again, when we look at the opportunities now for women, because they are one ad hoc, this should really open the doors and really be maybe a one-stop shop where they can look right across the company and do more and do better and rise higher. Yes, uh, I'm very excited. It's, uh, even if at uh, Edipec this year, you feel the energy, it's really, it's, I was just saying to everybody, Eid Mubarak is a new, because usually in the energy industry, uh, professionals, they're very quiet, there is not much ado and all that. But now with the restructuring and with the new opportunities, there's so much excitement, also the excitement that one can move from one to another. One can understand what's going on at NOC 
offshore, at no onshore, at no drilling, at no management, health and safety. So we share the knowledge corporate wise. And also we share that community. We are at no community. As a matter of fact, 45 years ago, I went to uh, spend some time with Shell. And I realized Shell had this community. I literally daily am studying and I am communicating. I'm, I'm finding out what are the new challenges, what are the new opportunities, and share them with our not only women. I mentor hundreds and hundreds of men I, at the universities. I open their eyes what it is in actually in petroleum engineering. Some of them have no idea. Have huge group of women energy in Saudi Arabia. The outside world think that the Saudis are all wearing burqa. They are out there in the fields. I meet them all the time. They are inspiring women, dynamic women, and they actually face head, head on the challenges because this is our industry. When I started first geophysics, I, the media asked me, all newspaper, why did you choose? Well, that was our national econo economy, our national headline. So that way, I prefer to contribute to our economy rather than going anything else. Now finally, quickly, I just want a quick word from you. You've been at ADIPEC, you've been at many ADIPECs right across yes. the years. ADIPEC 2017, tell me how, what you think about ADIPEC 2017. You talk about that energy that's there. Do you see it on the floor? Do you see it? ADIPEC 2017, how important is it? Actually, ADIPEC 2017, the excitement there, I go around and say, Eid Mubarak, is actually a rejuvenation, a rebirth of the energy industry community. The GCC oil company, the international oil company, the OPEC secretary general was here. All the other service providers are here. Why I find it very exciting? Because there is uh, such brilliant leadership foresight in what is happening, what has happened in Saudi Arabia is, is absolutely uh, so fantastic, amazing to see this happening in a, in a country that was supposed to be very orthodox and sleepy. Now we see the young crown prince coming forth and he, literally I, said, I think the first time they interviewed me, I said, what do you think? said, I really thank God I'm alive to witness this. I never thought that actually Adnok will be Adnok 1. When Adnok was formed, because BP, Adma, then we Total, then Adgas, uh, Jodico, we didn't even know each other. Now it is brilliant. So this, actually, this ADIPEC, you can feel it. You can really realize the energy is there. You can see that the young leadership has the vision and they're going along with new modernity, the digital age. This is the digital age and we are living it in a very slumbering industry. Before, you know, the energy industry, it was not that uh, exciting like other industry, but now, is really something.